Dragon Athletics are brought to you by Orion Neighborhood Television. Tonight we have the Dragons versus the Maples from Birmingham Seaholm. Dragons sit at 1-1 one one on the season in league play. The Maples are 2-0-2. Oh and, and as they sit in the OA White Division, Avondale sits in first place with Lake Orion right behind them at 1-1 one one with Seaholm at 2-0-2 oh in third place. The Dragons started uh, without a win for quite some time in this season. I believe they were 0-4 oh uh, out of the gate. But uh, behind Greg Phelan and the, uh, the new look Dragons, they have come around and tallied a win for two. So they're starting to get rolling here, getting used to uh, the new system by Coach Payment. As you see, uh, Kieran O'Keefe will be uh, between the pipes here for the Maples tonight. It's a beautiful night for soccer. The temperatures are in the mid-70s or just above. And a nice sunny day and just very comfortable out here. And as, as witnessed by the nice crowd on hand for tonight's contest, and ON TV's happy to bring it to you. We try to bring you as many games uh, during the season as possible. Uh, be on the lookout for uh, Dragon coverage of swimming and volleyball coming your way. There's Coach Ian Whitelaw, the head coach for the uh, Seahold Maples. And I'm sure he has his uh, his crew ready to go tonight against uh, Curtis Payman and the Dragons. Like we mentioned earlier, this is uh, Coach Payman's first season. Uh, at the helm of the Dragons uh, soccer program here at LOHS. And uh, as his system takes place, you know, uh, it gets rolling here. The team's going to start uh, responding accordingly. So uh, on TV, just encouraging the guys, saying welcome, Coach Payment, to uh, LOHS, and we look forward to seeing great things in the future. But until uh, the kickoff, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after this short timeout. This is on TV's coverage of Dragon Athletics. A habitat home. I love working on my habitat home. Soy dueño de una casa de habitat. My neighbor is a habitat homeowner. Being a habitat homeowner has changed our lives. My mortgage payment for habitat is less than what I pay for rent. Habitat for Humanity of Oakland County currently has homes available with mortgage payments lower than most rent payments. If you or someone you know needs decent and affordable housing, call 248-338-1843 or visit our website at habitatoakland.org. Prescription drug abuse is a national epidemic. The new in way to obtain drugs is through parents' or grandparents' medicine chests. Removing prescriptions from your cabinet is the best way to keep drugs out of the hands of our young people. We've got to work together to protect our teens, our seniors, and our environment. Clean out your medicine cabinet today. Please participate in Operation Medicine Cabinet and drop off your unwanted or expired prescriptions at one of our law enforcement drop-off sites in Oakland County. We can't ignore this situation anymore. back at LOHS at the soccer stadium here, just adjacent to the football stadium. And the Dragons are getting ready to take on the Birmingham Seahole Maples. Get ready for kickoff here. And don't forget, classes are now enrolling here at Orient Neighborhood Television. If you'd like to learn how to make your own television show or help out on sporting events, you can take uh, classes. Local residents only pay $10, and you can call Orwin TV at 248-693-3377 for more information. Classes are now enrolling. Call today. As we see the coin flip uh, between the guys, that is number five, Addison Wittry. He's a senior midfielder. And number seven, Justin Anderson. Uh, Justin Anderson uh, is going to be called upon to uh, get that ball between the pipes into the back of the net for the Dragons. He's a senior midfielder. And, um, you know, the offense for the Dragons uh, has been coming along as the season's been progressing, and there's been improvement. So coming out of the gate with a sporting a zero in the win column, it, the one thing that we saw, and if you read the articles in uh, the local paper, that the team has really kept its enthusiasm. Uh, Coach Payman has said that the guys have a great attitude. They constantly work hard. They work very, very hard in practice and on the field. And even though uh, it looked uh, pretty dire at the beginning of the season, they've really turned it around. And lo and behold, they're sitting at one and one in league play in the white division. 
within striking distance, and they're still in this thing. So, you know, a couple losses to uh, good quality opponents, and as everybody knows, the OAA is stacked to the uh, rafters with quality soccer clubs. And the Dragons uh, are no exception to that. They uh, traditionally have been a, a, a very tough out to other soccer clubs. And hopefully tonight the Dragons can notch a win to give them some momentum and to uh, secure that uh, number two spot in the OAA White Division uh, with a uh, hopefully a win tonight. So we'll see what happens here with the kickoff. And we have number 10 for the Sea Homes. That's Bowman. Tommy Bowman, he is the captain here for the Dragons, number 10 at midfield there. He averages 2.25 goals a game, as we mentioned earlier. And he's one to watch out for. And we are underway here at Dragons Stadium. Nice crowd on hand. Stands are packed. One thing we always notice when we come out and cover these games are the, the visiting Visiting crew from uh, the road team's fans really roll out in numbers. See a nice battle inside and stolen here by number seven. That's Anderson, Justin Anderson. Making some progress even though the, he's got a double team on him and it's cleared off to the side. See home defense doing a nice job of uh, impeding that progress. Dragons have the throw in. Oh, a giveaway here by the Dragons. But a nice tackle there by the Dragons to retain possession. Jonathan Ryan with a throw in here for the Dragons and then it goes out once again. Brandon Ruse with the throw in. First couple of minutes of uh, soccer match are always a uh, Curious one because you're just trying to feel, feel each other out. Uh, what kind of offense, defense are you gonna do? Everybody comes out with high energy, adrenaline is high. Sometimes good things happen at the beginning of a match that you might not even expect. And uh, obviously the first tally of the night is a big one for any soccer club because uh, momentum is on your side and the team, the team uh, that is behind really has to uh, work harder to uh, get back into the match as we sit at 38-21 left here in the first half of play. I want to thank you for joining us. This is Owen TV's coverage of high school soccer, the Dragons versus the Maples from Birmingham Seaholm. Both teams trying to settle down and get that ball to have a extended possession. A lot of giveaways here by the Dragons and a bump from behind, no whistle. A lot of speed here early. There's Anderson, nice move, a nice feed upside the right hand side. Will it stay in? And it is just outside the corner flag there across the touch line, throw in for the Maples. Grenadier with a throw in here for the Maples as the Dragons move up to try to put some more pressure on these Maples and they do so. I believe it'll be a Dragon throw in. Nice job by the Dragons. Thomas Morris with a throw in here. Good challenge there by the Maples to knock it off the uh, Dragon player. Kind of a seesaw situation here as the uh, referee uh, checks up the Seahole player. I've seen enough soccer matches to know there's little tricks in uh, my games that these guys play on each other to uh, gain just the slightest advantage. As here's a giveaway, dangerous position here. Dragons have a chance inside. Centering pass. Shoots far post, score. Dragons on the board first. 36-49, Dragons on the board as Bowman makes him pay. Excuse me, as is that number seven for the Dragons? Yeah, Justin Anderson, Justin Anderson midfield. Nice job by Anderson. That was, uh, Maples were calling for an offside. Defender raised his hand looking for the offside call and it does not come. And Justin Anderson with just a couple minutes into this thing, three minutes or so, and he tallies one for the Dragons, up one nothing. Good sign for the Dragons when they score first. And like I said, now the Maples, they have to look to do something here to try to, to even this match up. But the Dragons now with a score. 
They're going to be playing with some more energy here. As the ball is sent into the far right side here. And there's a challenge. And good defense by the Dragons. Oh, Maple's not pleased with that call. Watch out, the yellow card could be issued, a warning. Can't show up the refs and uh, have a crazy temper out there. The referees will call you on it. It looked like it was off the Dragon player and it was changed, the call was changed, so it is a corner kick. Number five, Ryan Nolan with the duties here for the Seaho Maples. Long high kick through the goal mouth, but a little too strong, a little too wide. And it was deflected off a Dragon player. Seaholm's act quickly here. Feed in on net just to the left, and Thalen is there to uh, deflect that one out. So one corner kick here for the Maples already. There's a guy set up here for the second quarter kick of the night here for the Seaholm Maples. A nice bender in the corner, doesn't quite make it to the box, but it's still alive and sent out on a strong kick by the Maples. Maples pressure, they're responding to that uh, first goal by the Dragons at uh, the 36-49 mark of the first by Justin Anderson. Salen gets ready to send this one uh, down range. 34-53 left here in the first period of play. Both teams trying to control the ball here. Addison Witchery battling out there. Nobody wants it, can't regain possession here. It's kind of like ping-ponging around out there. And cleared by the Dragons. David uh, Grenadier, the senior defensive midfielder, will also will throw it in here for the Maples. Nice battle, pushed by number 12, and they're gonna call nothing. Usually when you extend that arm on a push, the, the referees will call you dead. And Dragons have the throw in, they'll, they'll take it. Long send up. And knocked out by the Dragons as number nine, Brandon Shefsik. I hope I'm saying his name right. Dragons have a nice balance between juniors and seniors on this club. Only one sophomore, that's Justin Lively. Number 25. And he's a midfielder as the Seaholms take it up the left side. And knocked out by the Dragons. So the Seaholms are putting, the Seahol Maples are putting some pressure here on the Dragons over the last couple minutes after that goal. And long sending. Those are always dangerous. You never know where those are gonna end up. Dragons looking to get a rush going here, settle down the offense. Early stages here, the first half. Dragons up 1-0 on the goal by Tom, uh, Justin Anderson at 36-49. Nice tally, a good uh, two-man game. Maples held up on what they perceived to be an offsides, but it was not called by the linesman. And the Dragons walk in and go far post. Maple's trying to respond. They've had uh, two corner kicks to zero here in the first half of play, and they've put some pressure on the Dragons' defense here the last couple minutes. The Dragons have stayed tall. Greg Thalen in the goal here for the Dragons. Kirian O'Keefe in the pipes for the Maples. O'Keefe has a point three three goals against average, and uh, that's pretty darn good. The Dragons have uh, skewed his percentage already by uh, tallying one here in the first. Dragons looking nice here, ball control. Nice pinpoint passing, nicely done. Long sending, number five, and 
just misses far post wide. Addison Wittry, the senior midfielder with a rocket. And the goalie, O'Keefe, has his hands out saying, where is my defense? How do you let him tee it up? Nicely done by the Dragons and knocked out by O'Keefe. This will be the first corner kick for the Dragons this evening. Short corner sent in. User foot speed and skill chip on and easily handled by O'Keefe. He was on his line and stood his ground and he was in position, nicely done. Uh, push from behind by number 20. Andre Bonneville, senior defender. Fight for that ball. And so we're gonna have a free kick here at a pretty dangerous spot in the field with 30 minutes, 44 seconds to go in the first half. So a free kick here coming for the Maples. And you see time and again, this, this location here for uh, high school players of this quality and uh, experience, boy, they can send it in and in tricky shots as the set piece sets up here. Number five, uh, Ryan Nolan with the send in and a header. Sent wide. And a challenge off the Dragons, and they're going to call it. Looks like a corner kick coming. As you see the Dragons roll that ball towards the, uh, towards the net saying, hey, goal kick, easy. Some substitutes coming in here for the Maples. As the guys reset here on the corner. Oh, oh, what a save by uh, Thalen. What a save. He was in position. That was a tricky corner. They come sliding in, and it was tapped. But he was far post, uh, guarding that far post, and Thalen made the save. Key save. That was very, very close. Dragons can't get lazy on the set pieces as they push up again. Chip pass over to number 24, Jonathan Ryan. Ryan looking to send it in. He goes far side, and it makes it across. He's in, he got a leg on it. Just short. Dragons doing a nice job of pressuring in the open field here of the Maples. Nearly tallied number two. as O'Keefe gets ready to send this one down range. Guys battling it over there. Addison Wittry, he already had a uh, rocket shot that nearly went in as he's taken down and a free kick coming here for the Dragons. We'll keep an eye on Wittry, he's uh, looking good tonight on the right forward position here. Strong right leg, boy, he sent that one in. Long chip sent in, headed out by the Maples. Ball's free in no man's land. Dragons are gonna win this foot race here. Oh, and TV had cameras out here during the uh, Groves matchup and uh, Dragons were a little tardy on the 50-50 balls. But tonight it looks like they're winning that battle and doing a nice job. Oh, pull. Going to push here. They're going to call a free kick here for the Maples and they quickly get it underway. Don't let the defense set. Tough angle on the pass. Long in development. Easily uh, handled by the Dragons. But the 50-50 balls seem to be uh, looking better tonight here for the Dragons. As it's sent out by the Maples and the Dragons are pushing up nicely as Austin Lively will uh, trigger from the side. Hands it off to number 12, Alan Karip. 27 minutes left here in this first half of play. Dragons up 1-0 and a goal by Justin Anderson at 36-49. Ball is alive, step over move. Karip doing a nice job there. Trying to evade the defense, but it is poked away by the Maples. 
A lot of energy by the Dragons out here tonight. Oh, pull him off the ball, no call, sent long, and just saved by O'Keefe. Far post just misses, O'Keefe has to lay out for that one. Quality scoring chances by the Dragons. I'll tally four quality scoring chances by the Dragons. They've had plenty of shots on goal. O'Keefe has been busy tonight. And you know your percentages eventually, you pressure the goal and the defense enough. That ball will find the back of the net. I want to thank our camera operator tonight, Mitch Palermo, doing a nice job for us. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. And I want to thank you for tuning in to this uh, broadcast of Dragon Varsity Soccer. Weather permitting, we hope to have other cameras out uh, and about, grabbing a couple more matches before this fall season concludes. So far, we've been uh, real lucky with the weather. Tonight is a beautiful night. We encourage all of our viewers to come on out and cheer these uh, student athletes on. Grab a dog, grab some chips and a pop, and come out and uh, enjoy Dragon Soccer and cheer on these hardworking student athletes. This ball sent up the right side, intercepted by the defense. Nicely done. Long send in, trying to get him off side. Yes. Trying to, uh, Justin Anderson, you see. Kind of the, uh, if it's open, take it. Two defenders on Anderson there on that break. But the defenders did a nice job of holding their line and stopping and letting Justin Anderson uh, continue on his run, thus calling the offsides. Easy call by the referees. Ball is lively tonight. Seems like it's been in the air more than it's been on the ground. Dragon taken down hard by the Maples. Number 10 called on the foul, Tommy Bowman. He's the captain here for the Maples, as well as Dalton Geraldo, number 15. He's a sweeper and defender. Senior stands 5'10 here for the Maples. Push from behind, easy call. That is on number five, Ryan Nolan, the junior midfielder, called on that push. The Dragons are gonna have a nice free kick here in a dangerous spot. Again, these uh, mid-range uh, set pieces here can be dangerous in the high school level. And he's going right at the net, Bender! Just over the top crossbar. Wow, what a shot. Remind your viewers that DVD copies are available for only $10. Call Orion Neighborhood Television at 248-693-3377 for only $10. Get a copy of this and any other program in our broadcasting vault. It's DVD copies, 248-693-3377. Three, three, we have games going back to 09 and even earlier. Chip up the right side, nicely done. Will the ball stay in? It is running. Andrew DeLong does a nice job of keeping that in. Or at least attempted to keep it in, but I guess it was out. Goal kick coming here for Thalen as their substitutions are made. We're at the 2.49 mark of the first period of play. Dragons up 1-0. But a reminder viewers too that uh, on TV's YouTube channel is up and running, and it is robust. We have many, many, many shows and games available for on-demand viewing on YouTube. We encourage you guys to surf on over to our website at orionontv.org and click on our YouTube link. And we have virtually every show produced in our studio there. And we are systematically loading up all of the games that we have on file to uh, playlists from years past and the current games of this year in 2012. So if you have a favorite game you want to check out once again or just see if we have it online, just take a peek or give us a call at 248-693-3377 to request a game to be uploaded. And if we have it in our vault, we'll do so. As the Dragons again push forward, putting the pressure on this Maple defense. So far, it looks like the Dragons have a little more oomph 
Anderson sent it wide. Oh, old goal. Wow, who saw that coming? Two nothing Dragons on the mistake by the Maples and they shoot an own goal. I think that's the first own goal I've seen covering these games over the last three years. First own goal here tonight by the Maples and now they're sitting in a 2-0 deficit and that just takes the wind out of you. Nice pressure by the the offense to get the ball in deep and you saw Anderson going uh, far far side of the net for a pass to a streaking forward. I think that was Wittry. I could be wrong, but it was deflected by the defender into his own net. The ball was uh, up high a little bit and extended his leg and just hit it in far post. Usually you don't want your defender hit far post. You're asking your forwards to do that. But wow, a crazy uh, circumstance here. A little bit of luck, and the Dragons are up 2-0. Own goal by the Maples, and the Maples now must uh, play here with a sense of urgency here in this first half. If they could tally one to cut this lead in half, consider that a, a victory here for the Maples, but it's 20-51 left here in the first half. Dragons up 2-0 on an own goal. Wow, that is a first. One thing, too, is uh, I'm not sure what type of surface the Maples play on as uh, they earn another corner kick here. Always dangerous, and it's open. Headed out by the defense, still alive and failing on his line, and it goes over the net. Fourth corner kick of the night for the Seahomes to Dragons lone corner kick. So you see the... Pressure of the uh, Seaholm offense is doing a nice job of getting that ball in deep. But uh, the scoreboard is the uh, the ultimate judge of how you've played tonight. 2-0. Dragons in the lead on a whistle. Blown dead on a hold, and the Seaholm Maples will have a free kick. Long send in here by Seaholm, but we were, I was mention, talking about uh, the playing surface of the, uh, the Maples get the ball in deep and cleared up by the defense. Is that if you've never played uh, soccer on an artificial surface like this here at uh, Dragon Stadium, that uh, if you're used to grass, it's an adjustment. That ball will sail on you. It goes really, really fast. The resistance on the roll is considerably different than on grass. And the speed of play and the uh, subtlety of the passes need to be taken into account here as Wittry does a nice job. And it's sent in deep by the Maples. So that bounce on that own goal could have been a factor due to the surface, the playing surface here at Dragon Stadium. Nice defense to fill in the, the vacated space there to deny that hard shot by the Maples. Dragons doing a nice job. They're being pressured. It's one of those bend but don't break uh, situations here. We have another foul on the Dragons. They are playing aggressively, but this is a dangerous spot here as they form the wall. And we see number 10, Tommy Bowman, lining up for the kick, always dangerous. We'll see what they do. They have options. They can go deep with it. We saw them lob it over to the left side looking for a header, and he's going right at the net, and he lifts it a little too high and out of play. Next one, Tommy. Substitutions being made at the 10 or 18 minute mark of the first half. Thalen's done a nice job. He's had uh, one super save here where he had to lay out on that corner kick to. Uh, Stomp that far post and knock it away. It was uh, a very, very close uh, save to O'Keefe, who's had to uh, really be active down there in the long shots here by the Dragons. So O'Keefe's been pressured by this Dragon offense. Let's see if they can keep it up here. Though they have a two-goal lead, you'd hate to see the Dragons let up at any level. Maple's playing with a sense of urgency here in the first half. 
goal here by the Maples would be a huge victory for them as the Dragons run down this send up. Nicely done by number 11, Brandon Ruse. Still alive by Ruse, and he's taken down from behind. Easy call by the referee. That's just hustle. You might not see your name on the tally board for a score, but it's all a team game out here, and the, every little bit helps. Set up this free kick here for the Dragons. Justin Anderson again will take the duties here, and as he sends it in on a bender, just deflected out. That looked like it had a chance. It was, looked like a knuckleball. Dove right at the last second, and uh, O'Keefe was there. But the defense, uh, as the ball is put back into play. And easily played by O'Keefe as he sends it down range. 16 17 to go here in the first half. Dragons up 2 0. First goal is at 36 49 by Justin Anderson. And then the Maples uh, defender had an errant toe, and he sends in an own goal. So the Dragons up 2 0 over the visiting Maples from Seaholm. Nice uh, move there by Ryan Nolan, number five for the Maples. Got around the defense pretty easily there. There's Anderson, a long feed up. Foot race and cleared to the side. This should be a throw in here for the Dragons. There's Brandon Ruse on the uh, run there, nicely done. I think this is Paul Smythe with the throw in number two and deflected out by the Dragons. Maples looking, switching field here. And a little too long. Again, the roll of this surface out here, if you are not on target, it will take off on you and go out of bounds. Throw in here for the Maples. 23 taking that inside. That's Alex Gordon. He's also a captain on this uh, Maple squad. Haven't called his name yet today. He's a midfielder. He's a senior. Standing six foot tall. Challenge midfield. Addison Wittry, man. He's He's been all over the place. We've seen his speed and his skill. Nice poke over to the side. There's Reichenbach. Battles two Maples over there. Still alive, still retains possession here. And that ball is still in, difficult to tell. And in soccer, you know that the ball has to completely cross the line. If it's sitting on the line, it's still in. Unlike other sports where if the ball touches the line, it's automatically out. The ball has to completely pass the line to be out of play. Open on the left side just for a moment, but the ball sails and just inside the uh, flag there, so we'll have a throw in. A couple of substitutes coming in here. Kevin Ibera with the ball. I'm saying his name correctly. Anderson again with the ball, nice steal. Down the line, a little too hard. Dragons still pressuring this Maples defense. They're doing a nice job. The forwards we've seen here for the Dragons, they have speed with uh, Wittry and uh, Anderson. That's a dangerous combo. The guys have uh, a lot of speed and they've been taking advantage of it. Nice defense by 20 Bonneville for the Dragons. Brandon Shefsik with the ball. Wittry challenging the keeper. O'Keefe there just in time. Wittry's been playing a heck of a game tonight. Guys battling each other. The ball goes out. That's Paul Smythe, the midfielder. He's a junior for the Dragons battling there.
Maples again with the throw in. Number 16, that's David Wright. With the trigger from the side. Oh, dangerous throw in. And they're going to call a push. Oh. Free kick coming here for the Maples. And it looks like Tommy Bowman will be taking it. Look shoulder to shoulder to me, but they're going to say a foul again in a dangerous spot. We've seen this time and again tonight. Oh, a little faint there and punch out by Thalen. Nicely done by the keeper. The senior, Greg Thalen, heads up play to punch that one out. A lot of free kicks here for the Maples and uh, right out front of the net here. Means they're doing something right, playing aggressively and pushing that ball up, but the Dragon defenses have responded every time. Bowman with footwork over there. Looking to center it, he does, he chips it up. And just off. Couldn't find Kevin Ubera, number 14. The junior midfielder for the Maples. And we have a goal kick here coming for the Dragons. I wanna thank you all for tuning in to this telecast of Dragon Soccer. Try to cover as many games as and many sports as we can throughout the season. And we encourage all of our viewers to uh, tune in to take a game and uh, see uh, these hardworking student athletes. They've been at work uh, all summer long, still uh, probably with their club teams. I know the soccer, uh, soccer players, they play year round. Um, they take a break, at least the high school's students do take a break from their club teams to play high school soccer and then in the winter time they go back to their club teams to play indoor season so this is year round for these guys and uh, it's always good to have the community out and support them so we encourage you to come out to a game the uh, Lake Orion High School webpage is a great resource especially on the athletics page they have every schedule for every sport that is offered at Lake Orion High School. Come on over to Lake Orion High School's uh, webpage, click on Athletics, and you'll see a schedule. You, there's a link there at the left side of the screen. You click on it, and boy, you can click on any, actually it's all for all Oakland, all OAA, as Thalen is there on that nice feed in by the Maples. He stands tall and easily gathers that one in. But go ahead, go on over to that webpage, click on the link for the schedules for uh, all the high school sports. And you'll see every uh, high school for the OAA listed. Click on Lake Orion and you can pick your uh, game that you want to come out and see. As uh, Anderson up the right side, nice stop, trying to cut it inside, still retains possession. He chips it over, tries to center it to number 17. I don't have 17 on my roster here for the Dragons. Nice challenge there by the uh, by the Dragon offense and Justin Anderson. Another foul call here on the Dragons. They're playing aggressively, which you like to see. 2-0 here at the 8.37 mark of the first period of play. Comes a send in by the Maples. Long kick. Chip left of the net, still alive. Mad scramble for the ball. It's free out front. Looking to send it. Oh, the defense. Nice stop. Can't get a number on that jersey. We'll try to see that later. Great defensive stand here by the Dragons. I want to say it was 17. Again, I don't have 17 on my roster here, but that was great defense. You see they got the three defenders back, packing it in. Ooh, high chip shot off the face of the Dragon player. Again, 17, whoever he is, he's in there playing hard. I don't have him on my roster, but he's already made an impact in this contest so far. As time continues to run, one thing about soccer is the clock does not stop. And in high school soccer, there is no uh, added time for injury or stoppage of play. Long send in. Ball is free out front, but cleared by the Dragons, and they're on a rush. Sent in by Anderson, long 
I think he just wanted to clear it out. Maples regroup. Set down the right side on a streaking. Maple, he is on side, and Thalen easily gathers that one in. That looked like uh, Sean Trapozon for the Maples. He's a defender, had a clearing, and he took it. The senior defender for the Maples. A lot of pushing over there. Brandon Roos getting into it with the Maples. And we have a throw in here by number 20, David uh, Grenadier. Six and a half and counting here for the Dragons in the first half. Two nothing lead. Maples easily challenged by the Dragons and sent back. Maples have to regroup. Good defense by this Dragon squad. Number four, Bradley Eric. Or is it Ike? Feet up midfield. Ruse making his run, but gathered in easily. He's a junior. Ooh, near collision. Two Maples and a Dragon. Maples with the throw in here, number six, Andrew Timlin. Good footwork here by the Maples. The ball gets in deep, but it's cleared out. Gathered in by 23, Alex Gordon, captain here on the Maples squad, but spits it out to try to reset this offense. Feels like a bend, but don't break defense tonight for the Dragons, but they've done a nice job. Good communication there to give up the ball. And the Dragons settle for clearing it into the open space. Crossing pass by uh, Trapozon and nobody there to find it. As Anderson does a nice job of avoiding the defense. Oh, and he goes down. Looked like a turf monster got him, but 23 is called. That is Gordon. Free kick here. Anderson had a head of speed going. He's taken down at the midline. Dragons line up here at the 427 mark of the first, leading 2 0 over the Seahole Maples. This home contest is an OAA white uh, matchup. Long, high send in. Challenged by the Maples, and they do get a foot on it. And cleared out by. Seaholm as we have four subs coming in here for the Dragons. Wittry, Reichenbach, and Karup, Alan Karup. In the game here for the Dragons, and I believe Karup will have the throw in here for the Dragons, number 12. Time keeps running here. Throwing over to Wittry, and Say a push on the Dragon, so a free throw in here. Excuse me, not a push, but a knockout of the bounds. Boy, Dragons would love to have another tally here before the end of the first half. Three nothing hole is a tough one to climb out of. Dragons haven't really pressured on offense since that flurry the first uh, 15, 20 minutes of this matchup kind of settle into a uh, rhythm now. Inside cut. Oh, another nice move there by number four. That's Eric. Bradley Eric, number four. Dragons are finding each other in space and doing a nice job of getting the ball to them as that ball is uh, across that touch line. Maples with the throw in. And we're going to call a foul. Nope. They can rethrow it again. Unless the Maples uh, did one of those, hey, I think it's off you. So I'm going to throw it in as fast as I can before the referee can get set. And it looks like that was the case. Ball's a long send in and way wide of the net. 
Boy, O'Keefe has done a nice job. Karen O'Keefe, the goalkeeper for the Maples. He was challenged early on, and uh, he's he stood on his head there for a couple shots. We've had four quality scoring chances here for the Dragons. I'd say two here for the Maples. As they work on some speed here, that's 23, that's Gordon. He's trying to center it, and he takes down a Dragon, and it's off across the end line. Oh, they're going to call it off of... Uh, off of the Dragons, it'll be another corner kick. Corner kicks are five to one in favor of Seaholm. Short corner here by the Maples to try to catch the Dragons off guard. And that one is out on the Maples and Thalen will have the goal kick here at 120 to go here in the first half of play. Short corner instead of uh, launching it in like we're, we traditionally see towards the net, they just kind of tap it change of pace that could throw off the defense. Nice long kick. Just under a minute to go here. Ball is sent across the touchline. Dragons have a nice, uh, has a deep throw here. Time's ticking. Let's see if they can notch another one before half. Three nothing would be great at this point, but with the time, uh, Differential here, we're looking at 38 seconds to go. Tough to get uh, something going with that amount of time left, but the Dragons do a nice job, up two nothing. Dragons again pressuring it. Oh, split the D, still alive. Knuckling far post, ball's on, what are they gonna say, handball? Oh, handball. Referee marks handball. On number 15, he's beside himself with Dalton Geraldo. He's a captain here on the, oh my goodness, 11 seconds to go. Handball in the box. So this is a penalty kick. Shooter on goalkeeper. Now the goalkeeper, the rule here is he cannot come off his line. He has to stay on that goal line. He is at a disadvantage, he has to stay there. And here is Justin Anderson and he makes him pay. Just like that, I'd say what, 40, 39 seconds to go, it's tough to get a, uh, another tally. <laughs> another tally and what happens, they tally the third. Justin Anderson with his second of the night. Handball in the box. We saw the pass. I'm trying to get a name. It wasn't Wittry. I didn't get a number on the jersey who was uh, trying to feed that ball to the right side post. But it did take a weird deflection. I didn't think it was a handball. But again, uh, the referee's right there and he sees it. So time about ready to expire here and it does. First half ends. Here at Dragon Stadium, the Dragons up 3-0 over the visiting Maples from Seaholm on a crazy play. Handball in the box, penalty shot. Dragons up 3-0. Take a short timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching ONTV's coverage of Dragon Sports. My neighbor is a Habitat homeowner. Being a Habitat homeowner has changed our lives. My mortgage payment for Habitat is less than what I paid for rent. Habitat for Humanity of Oakland County currently has homes available with mortgage payments lower than most rent payments. If you or someone you know needs decent and affordable housing, call 248-338-1843 or visit our website at habitatoakland.org. 
Prescription drug abuse is a national epidemic. The new in way to obtain drugs is through parents' or grandparents' medicine chests. Removing prescriptions from your cabinet is the best way to keep drugs out of the hands of our young people. We've got to work together to protect our teens, our seniors, and our environment. Clean out your medicine cabinet today. Please participate in Operation Medicine Cabinet and drop off your unwanted or expired prescriptions at one of our law enforcement drop-off sites in Oakland County. We can't ignore this situation anymore. Welcome back. The second half about to begin here at Dragon Stadium. Crazy action here tonight. Dragons up 3-0 over the visiting Birmingham Seahole Maples as the second half gets underway. And don't forget, uh, Owen TV is all about social media. Visit us on the web at orientontv.org. And you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Be sure to like us on uh, Facebook. You get notifications of all the new videos that we have loaded up onto our YouTube channel. There we have uh, sporting events from football games and soccer, of course, volleyball, swimming even, and baseball games. So go ahead over to our YouTube page. Follow the link on our webpage at orientontv.org and uh, check out our YouTube channel. We're averaging uh, some... Uh, Nice views on these matches. We know that the, the Lake Orion area is a sports mad town. That's why we cover all these games and you love your Dragons. I believe uh, the football game from uh, against Oxford, the first see, uh, game of the season, we have over 111 views already on that video on our webpage. So head on over to orientontv.org and click on our YouTube page or click on the Facebook link and like us on Facebook so you have all the notifications when the new games are loaded and other sh programming as well. So what did we see in the first half of play? We saw that uh, Justin Anderson knows what he's doing on a soccer field and uh, he had the first tally 36-49 into the contest. So uh, one nothing lead there. And then there was an own goal by the Maples on an errant uh, defender's uh, kick, trying to clear that pass and then or that shot, and it deflected <laughs> into his own net. And Kieran O'Keefe for the Maples had no chance to stop that one. As we switch sides here for the second half, and the third goal came with just 11 seconds to go until halftime when a clearing ball, or maybe I shouldn't call it a clearing ball, but it was a... Uh, a pass inside by the Dragons that got some elevation and hit a hand of a, a Maple defender. I think that was number 15, Dalton Geraldo, who was beside himself. Hands raised in amazement that they called that, but it was in the box. So that is a penalty kick, and Anderson made him pay with his second goal of the night. And that's where we stand here, 3-0. In the start of the second half, Dragons up. Love to add to it. But the Maples are going to have to uh, change their strategy here. You don't want to uh, sit back and just kind of uh, concede victory here. Obviously, they wouldn't do that. But you might see the defenders moving up uh, and pressuring a little bit more uh, than you saw in the first half as uh, Thalen comes out to challenge that ball, and it does a nice job of knocking it clear. So far, Thalen's done a nice job. Greg Thalen, the senior uh, netminder, making good decisions and in the right position. Good fundamental skills here by the senior netminder. Anderson trying to feed it up the left side. Taken easy by O'Keefe as he launches this one. Heck of a punt there by O'Keefe. So Maples kicking in open space and they have some room to roam. Battling over there. High feed into the box and Thielen easily gathers that one in. Looking for uh, to pose on. Number seven for the Maples on far post. But denied by Thielen. Nice crowd on hand here. Sun has gone down in the as 
is uh, expected this time of year. The temperature also dips. Get a little chilly out here. The wind has picked up a little bit as well. You see the linesman's flags uh, whipping in the wind out here. I don't know if that'll uh, play with the ball a little bit if it gets airborne. So far we haven't seen uh, the weather elements uh, being a factor in this game at all. Surface has been fast and uh, drying fast here all night long. They say pointing to Dragon, Dragon throw in here. Oh, nobody went to the ball. They didn't look ready for that one. Wittry doing a nice job. I like uh, Wittry's game. He's done a nice job. Soft touch nicely done by the Dragons. Nice pinpoint passing here. Down the line and out of bounds. Maples with the throw in. And play continues. 16 with the ball, Daniel Wright. Gives it up to the defense as the defense uh, sends it in. Anderson trying to find a streaking number 12, Karup. And there's a break here. There's Karup. Oh, what a closeout by Kieran O'Keefe to come out to uh, cut that angle and challenge the ball. Dragons are in a corner. Karup was just a half a step off to get his right foot on that ball. And they're earning a corner here, just the second of the night here for the Dragons. Maples have five corners. Low corner out front, shot on net, far post. O'Keefe was there. Nice setup by the Dragons. And those set pieces you usually see uh, lobbing that ball into the box, but that was a nicely done set out front. The ball had eyes, it nearly got through. O'Keefe had to put a hand on it. I'd like to see the Dragons anchored at the far post, waiting for that ball to come in, to go back door. But O'Keefe was there. Take away that old goal by the Maples and uh, just three nothing is just a, maybe it's a psychological barrier. Teams get down three nothing with the defenses in high school these days. You rarely see a lot of scoring in the high school games above four goals. If you see any more, that is very, very rare. Ball is out of bounds. Number seven with a throw in. Pose on here for the Maples to chuck it in. As the sun has set here, the uh, artificial lights are turned on. Two dark jerseys in the dark playing soccer. Makes for difficult viewing at home. We'll try to do our best to uh, give you the names and numbers on the jerseys. As the Maples trigger from the side. Again, knocked out by the Dragons. 33-48 left here in this contest. Dragons up 3-0. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Hope you tune into Orion Neighborhood Television frequently to check out our different uh, game lineups. We have uh, football, obviously, in heavy rotation during this time of year. We also have swimming meets and volleyball matches. And, of course, your uh, Dragon Varsity soccer team. As Anderson takes that ball, changes direction. He's a whirling dervish out there. Still alive, sidestepping the defenders, doing a nice job, and a ball knocked out of bounds by Anderson, so Maples have the throw in. As 23 comes back into the play. That is Alex Gordon. Controlled by the Maples. They're looking to go switch the field a little bit but easily played by the Dragons. 16 running free, the mid, that's Daniel Wright. Challenged by 24, Jonathan Ryan. And the flag is raised, Dragon Ball. Ryan, nice effort there, he earns the throw in. Ryan's a defender, senior defender here for the Dragons. Nice crowd on hand. The uh, Maples brought quite a contingent of uh, fans 
up the road to uh, Dragon Stadium. If you've never been here to the soccer uh, facility, it is really, really impressive. The only event uh, played here on this surface is soccer. Wittry with the ball, trying to set up the offense here. Nice move. And sent up to the midline, but controlled by the Dragons still. Maple's challenging here. Dragons uh, taking their time. Obviously, they have the scoreboard on their side, and a lot has to happen for, uh, for three goals to come into play here for the Maples to try to knot this one up. Wesley Brummett for the Dragons, uh, the junior forward checks into the uh, game. His number nine, Brandon Shefsik gets ready to trigger from the side. Dragons don't want to go away from what was successful for them in the first half, and that was being aggressive and really using your speed and pressuring that uh, Maple defense. Maples with the trigger from the side. As you hear the crowd getting into this matchup now. Maples got a run going, but the defense is in position. Sent in deep. Number 10 just couldn't get there. Tommy Bowman, he's looking for something, hoping for something. 21 Rocco Rowland, the junior forward, will check in here for the Dragons. And Max Brown checks in for the Seahome Maples. Nice footwork by 16. Daniel Wright called his name several times tonight. Cleared by the Dragons, still in play. The Maples take it all the way back past the midfield line and switch field. Try to get the offense rolling here, trying to find some open space. Slide tackle by 21, Max Brown to no avail. Dragons come up with it. A lot of bumping going on out there and taken down from behind by the Dragons. Can't see who it is. Went down a little hard. 29, 27 left here in the second half of play as number five gets up. That's Ryan Nolan. He's been very active at midfield, the junior. He hits the turf hard. This surface, you know, the modern ar artificial uh, surfaces these days, as he seems to be no worse for the wear, are not nearly as uh, abrasive on the body as they used to be back in the back in the day, as uh, <laughs> as people like to say. They're actually quite soft for the most part, and it's th at least this uh, surface here for the Dragons it mimics uh, the grass, the feel of grass, um, the impact of uh, the body on the grass. So it's a, it's a fabulous surface out here. I believe it's the same type of surface that is uh, installed for the football field as well. Dragons with the ball looking to make a rush here. Ball's in the open, it's a foot race up the left side, but O'Keefe comes out to clear that one safely out of play. Brad Ike in the game. Thank you, uh, public address announcer, for confirming that, yes, I've been saying Bradley's name properly all game long. 28, approaching 28 minutes left in this context. Contest, Dragons up three nothing on the goals by Justin Anderson at 36-49. An own goal by the Maples and a penalty kick on a handball in the box with 11 seconds to go in the first half, and that is our scoring for tonight. I'd like to say scoring so far tonight. Hopefully the Dragons, you always like to see another tally. That third one, though, is a nice insurance goal. Witchery, Witchery creating space with that uh, off arm, and he's taken down by 23, Alex Gordon. One thing we've seen is the uh, extended arms of these players pushing off and that sort of thing. Usually that is called a foul depending on position. 
But tonight the referees are letting them play, and it's been an even, uh, evenly called match. It's not one way or the other. So the, the uh, athletes are taking uh, what the referees are giving to them and just playing a nice, solid match. It's been a pleasure to watch so far. A lot of action end to end. As the Dragons are in another corner. Their third of the night. Haven't any scoring chances so far in this second half of play. But they're earning corners here, and we'll see what happens. Feed is a bit long. There's Ruse, Brandon Ruse does a nice job challenging the corner and keeping it in. And, but it's knocked out by the Maples. I think uh, number eight, Tim Pierce, checks in for the Maples. As they get the throw in here from the side. A lot of spectators here for this contest. It's always good to see the stands packed. Like to have more Dragon fans out here to cheer these guys on. Switch the field a little bit here for the Maples, trying to get something going. Enter back by the Dragons and in control by the Dragons. Nice footwork. Maples on a run. They have some bodies and a takedown from behind. Ball is still in play. No call. Maples still with it. Good challenge by the Dragons, number 11. Andrew DeLong tries to send that one in. No good. Dragons do a nice job of challenging tonight. They're not standing around waiting. They're doing a nice job. Long send in by the Maples, and it is across the end line. It will be a goal kick by Thalen. Greg Thalen had a huge save in the first half to keep the Maples off the board. It's on a corner kick by the Maples. They've had five so far this evening. And he had to lay out to make sure that one found no part of that net. So far, he's pitching a shutout, doing a nice job. Good fundamental play here by both keepers. That ball is bouncing all over the place as the Maples come down with it. Number eight, Tim Pierce with the ball. A little three-man game here. A little triangle action. Couldn't quite get it over to the left side. They had an open. Hear the crowd here. They're knowledgeable in their soccer, of course, especially the parents of these players. They've been watching them play for, geez, probably 12 years since four-year-old uh, soccer players that usually get going around here. And the club team's travel soccer gets going about eight. Eight years old, U8. Parents are well versed in what works and what doesn't <laughs> for their players. Everybody's a coach, right? Ball well, sent up the far right side and it is out. A dragon throw in here. Logan Stetsko checks in, the junior defender for the Lake Orion Dragons. As his brother Dalton Stetsko gets ready to throw in from the side. Dalton is a senior. His brother is a junior. And Maples uh, win that challenge. They earn the throw in here. 23 minutes to go. Dragon Faithful are saying, come on clock, get moving. Can it go any quicker? We want this W. Again, the OAA White is looking uh, like Avondale is in the driver's seat currently. Uh, this game is being played on September 13th. So on the 13th, as of this uh, this taping of this contest, Avondale is in first place. Lake Orion sitting at second with Seaholm on their heels in third. Dragons at one and one in the league play, while Seaholm sits at 2-0-2 overall. 
So one win, one tie in league play, I believe, for the Maples. Twenty-two approaching twenty-two minutes left in this contest, and the ball is sent up. Dragons. Dragons came out to play tonight. They put pressure on in the early stages. The first ten minutes of this game was really a pleasure to see. The effort and the speed at which these guys were playing was really at a high level. And uh, they were. They tallied that first goal, and Justin Anderson's third first goal at 36-49. So 10 minutes into the contest, roughly, and uh, the Dragons were in business. Tommy Bowman here for the Maples has been quiet. He's averaging 2.25 goals a game, and so far he has not uh, even come close to the net tonight. Dragon defense has, was bending a little bit in the first half, but uh, stood tall and pitched a shutout in the first half. And so far in the second, they're doing the same. As the Maples are playing catch up here down 3 0. Nice takeaway by the Dragons again, given away by the Dragons. Pose on with a steal number seven, and he feeds it up. Over top of the defense and challenged nicely. Something else we saw in the first half was the, uh, the challenge for the 50-50 balls. The Dragons were winning those battles. And the Maples are going to, we're about the midway line, mid past the midway point of the second half. They're going to start having to pressure a little bit, bring their defenders up. And can't control it. Alex Gordon knocks it out. Number 23 for the Maples. Alex Schlitt in and Russell Reichenbach for the Dragons. They check in for the uh, game action. Inside 20 minutes here left in the second half of play. The visiting Maple crowd has been quieted with this 3 nothing uh, first half outburst here by the Dragons. And let's see, replays, don't forget, replays of Game of the Week can be seen Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays exclusively on ONTV. Our football games run Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m., Saturdays at 1 p.m., and Sundays at 7 p.m. Call 248-693-3377 for more information on programming and air times of your favorite programs. Or visit OrientOnTV.org and click on our program guide on our webpage for viewing times and dates that best fit your viewing schedule for your favorite games. Again, DVD copies are also available. For only ten dollars, you can get a copy of this or any game in a broadcasting vault. Call Owen TV today two four eight six nine three 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 seven seven. Um, high kick here. Gonna say uh, the spikes got a little too high, so we got a free kick coming here for the Dragons at the eighteen thirty five mark of the second. Wind is picking up here. Chill in the air. We'd like to uh, call attention to the uh, Dragon Lady Dragons swim team. The Lady Tankers are off to a nice solid start this season as that ball is in deep. And O'Keefe is taken down by a Maple player and a Dragon player. I think that was number 11, Brandon Ruse. But the Lady Tankers are doing a nice job this season. They have only one loss in dual meet play. And uh, a new, uh, I believe they're set, they set a new varsity record for uh, for their six dives. Their diver uh, set a new varsity record with 220 points. So congratulations to the swimmers. And we're going to have a couple more of their swim meets uh, on our dial or in neighborhood television on Comcast Channel 10, at and viewers Channel 99, and on our YouTube channel coming up here in the next several weeks. Our fall sports coverage. 
Rolls on. And we got a whistle behind the play. What is the call? Not sure what's going on. I think there's a foul way back behind the play on the Dragon. So free kick here for the Maples as they set up. Dragon defense is pushed back. You can see that they're not challenging. They push up across the, as soon as the ball crosses the midline, they come up and react to the ball. Solid defense here by the Dragons. Everything is earned tonight here for the Maples and they've earned a lot of uh, corner kicks. They have five total to the Dragons three. Ooh, that was a nice feed, but just intercepted and Thalen challenges and sends that one out. Got a rocket leg there for Greg Thalen, the senior net minder for the Dragons. He sent that one into next Thursday as we have a goal kick coming. Owen TV will be out and about in the community as homecoming approaches, we're going to have cameras at the homecoming parade, which is on a Sunday this year. Has changed from the Friday before the uh, actual, uh, actual homecoming game. I think the change was due to, uh, it's so difficult to get downtown uh, during that time of day, you know, three, four o'clock with traffic and with everybody leaving work that they change it to Sunday. So it gives more uh, families an opportunity to participate in the parade and come down and see all the festivities to cheer on all the sports teams from the high school and elementary schools and middle schools are taking part. Plus uh, the main draw, at least in my opinion, the big the marching band when it goes down the road. You know, that's speaking from an old tuba player. Marching band's always a highlight of the uh, parade as they roll by playing the fight song. This year will be on a Sunday afternoon at 3.30. And that is uh, on, excuse me, September 23rd. ONTV will have coverage of that. We're hoping to bring it to you live on the Education Channel, Channel 22 on uh, Comcast, AT&T Universe Channel 99. So stay tuned for that. Of course, the parade will be replayed uh, throughout the week. Maple's putting some uh, pressure here on the defense as they clear it off to the, the touch line. 14 minutes to go here in the second half of play. Dragons up 3 nothing. All the scoring in the first half. Two tallies by Justin Anderson. And an own goal by the Maples. Got an errant defensive uh, clearing chance. Found the back of the net, surprisingly so, to the dismay of the Maples. And the second goal by Anderson was uh, by a handball in the box as the Maples challenge and just tip it over. Number seven, Sean Traposon. He's uh, been all over this field and he thought he had a, a quality chance there and it looked like it was knocked out by the Dragons and we're going to have another corner kick here for the Maples. And here it comes. Low screamer cleared out easily by the uh, defense, but it's still challenged there by the Maples. A couple headers, and Thalen gathers that one in. Tapozon had his hand in the air. He thought he had a, of course, everybody wants to be fouled in the box, so he get a penalty kick like we saw earlier. Well, it's going to take a lot to... Uh, Get that one. It's difficult to uh, play those little uh, mind games and little tricks that you do with the level of referee we have here at the high school level. Maples again looking for a rush. And they're in the clear. Ball is in the clear. Centering pass. Nailing there. 
Nice save by the senior netminder to keep it zero on the board for the Maples. He's been solid all night long. We've seen it. Quality scoring chance by the Maples gone by the wayside. Greg Thalen doing a nice job. Maples were looking far post on that, uh, on that shot and he was in position ready to go. Dragons pitching his shutout so far here tonight, doing a nice job as the subs come in. Dragons making a couple substitutions. Justin Anderson back in the contest here for the Dragons. As Daniel Wright sends that one past midfield line. Nice turn here by the Maples, still alive. Free run here by the Maples. Couldn't get through that defense. Ryan Nolan called his name several times tonight. Nicely done there to keep that play alive. Tapped forward by the Maples. Dragon defense there and they clear. They're just happy to clear that ball. Send it the length of the field, make the Maples work for it. Aaron O'Keefe there with the ball, and he, he's got quite a leg on him. O'Keefe's done a nice job. He's This game could easily be 4 nothing. Two players go down, no call. Ball is still alive. Another challenge by the Maples, and they win that ball, but cleared again nicely by the defense. Approaching 10.30 left in this contest. Thank you all for tuning in to this uh, broadcast. We encourage all of our viewers to come on out and uh, take in a live soccer match to cheer these student athletes on. We have full concessions uh, available to you down here at the uh, soccer field. As we have a foul on the Dragons, free kick coming for the Maples. If you've never been out to the soccer field, it's uh, right next to the uh, football stadium. You can't miss it. Plenty of parking. Great sporting complex here at Lake Orion High School. Everything centrally located. Field's in great condition. And a free kick, dangerous spot here, header. And deflected the wrong way by the Maples. They were in position, but he couldn't get the flick on to the net and it just comes out front of the net. Who is that, seven? Can't see the number on that. Split the defense, trying to is uh, Justin Anderson over to number 11, Brandon Ruse. Ruse got some wheels. Dragons win the uh, throw in here. Franklin Gerling checks in, the senior defender checks in for the Dragons as number six, Russell Reichenbach takes a seat. Addison Wittry taken down. I like Wittry's game. He's all over the place. He's, uh, you can see it, man. He gets the ball on his foot and he is gone. He's got some speed to burn and he's elusive. And the nice uh, footwork he has there. Lull him to sleep there. Anderson sends it on net. And O'Keefe was there. Anderson tried to, uh, Send that one in over the defense before they were had a chance to set, and uh, O'Keefe was there ready for it. Ooh. That was, uh, it was a dangerous play. You hear the crowd uh, kind of commenting on that last play. Ryan Nolan. Cleats got a little bit high on the Dragons' side, but no call, so no foul. Maple, Maple Faithful getting restless here as time continues to run. Go. Keep it clean, nice 50-50 uh, ball run. One there by the Maples. And a take, a take down by the Dragons on, the, on a foul. A 
Seven minutes, 25 seconds left here in this contest. As the Maples get a free kick, we'll see here Ryan Nolan, number five here for the Maples. I believe he'll have the duty. Long send into the box, still alive. And out of play, easily wide of the net. Ella Gordon for the Maples sends that one in, but to no avail. Thalen with the goal kick here coming up. Dragons in firm control, and they've had it since uh, the 36-49 mark of the first period. If this goal, if this score holds up, uh, Justin Anderson will get the game winner. If uh, the Maples happen to uh, tally a goal here tonight, that means the own goal by their own uh, defender will be the game winner. Not sure how they tally that. If they, uh, if they, uh, like in hockey, if it's an own goal, they credit the nearest player to the puck. But I don't think they do that in soccer. Feet up the right side, looking to cut it back in. Is Ruiz, oh, he steals it, nicely done, and he's taken down. Taken down in a flurry is Brandon Ruse. He, uh, did he embellish the, the, uh, the fall? I don't know, I'll let you be the judge. He got the uh, ref's attention here as uh, we have a free kick. Madison Wittry appears to be taking this one. Nope, faint. Anderson, oh, almost in. That ball knuckled at the end, and O'Keefe got a fingertip on it. Wow, O'Keefe, they have him listed as 5'11", and he needed every inch to stop that shot. Far corner, Anderson, wow, what a shot. Corner kick here for the Dragons. After that punch out by O'Keefe. Fourth corner of the night for the Dragons to Seaholm six. Scoring chances for the Dragons, I've lost count. We're in the uh, close to 10 quality scoring chances here for the Dragons. Long floater up. Kept in by the Dragons. Anderson going short corner and just misses the post. He's got a dangerous left foot there, man. I think he can, uh, he's equally talented with both the left or the right. Almost tallied his third for the evening. Scoring chances like that, re-energize your club. Tackle from behind and knock the ball away. Nicely done, 23, Alex Gordon. Chipped over for the Maples, trying to find some space to run. Good closeout by the defense. Chipped over wide side. A little too far for the Maples. They are coming in in a flurry inside uh, four minutes to play here. And they're going to start pushing everybody up. More, ta more attackers. Yeah, you can see their two defenders. One of them was number five. I didn't get the uh, other one. Number five is Ryan Nolan. All their, defen their defense is pushed up almost to the midline. Time continues to roll on a 3-0 lead here by the Dragons. <laughs> Dragons trying to preserve a shutout here. Defense has played a nice game here as Wittry makes a run. Slide tap pass, nicely done. Try to control his number 23, Eric Mason, but he loses it. Nice clear out by the Dragons. They're content to dump it in as a Maple is down in the field and they will halt play for a little bit. We're following the play upfield, miss the, uh, what happened. Seen several instances where that ball went up high and uh, guys are going for it. Anytime you're 
head in the ball. There's a chance that the defender or the offensive player can make contact with each other as you see some of the Maples talking to the uh, head ref as the Lake Orion trainer comes out to check on the Maple player, see how, see how he's doing. As coach comes out here, Coach Whitelaw here for the Maples, check on his player. Oh, they're checking his leg. Not sure if it's cramped up or they're gonna... Looks like it cramped up a little bit. Oh, he's holding his, uh, his knee. So we'll take a break. We'll be back after this short timeout. This is Owen TV's coverage of high school sports. And we're back, ready to get underway. Look like Ryan Nolan with the injury. He's, he walked off the field under his own power. Seems to be okay. Looks like he had a cramp of some sort. This play continues, and the time continues to roll here. Dragons up 3 nothing. Looking to just run this clock out. Wind is picking up. It is chilly out here now. Game time temperatures were in the mid-70s. Sunny and very comfortable. Now with the sun uh, setting, the wind whipping a little bit. We're easily in the low 60s, if not lower. But inside two minutes to play here. Dragons in command. Two goals by... Justin Anderson and an own goal by the Maples. Nice defense to slow that rush. Alex Gordon looked like he had some space to move, but the Dragons did a nice job to shut it down. Maples in desperation mode here, trying to do anything to get out of tally before time expires inside 130. Defense still playing hard. Say Maple Ball here as time continues to run. Deep in the dragon end here, see what happens. And kicked out and deflected by the Dragons. One minute to play. Ball is in. Daniel Wright battling for the Maples out there as the ball looks like it crosses the end line. And it should be a goal kick here to the Dragons as time continues to run. They'll clear that ball and they'll have Thalen uh, grab one from the sidelines as uh, the Dragons wrap this one up 3-0 against the Maples of Seaholm. Nicely done, moving to 2-1 and one in league play. Good sign for this club. They started 0-4 on this season, but have bounced back, bounced back nicely. Tailing a couple wins here um, in a row. And in league play, sitting at 2-1. So at the beginning of the season, seeing 0-4 in the, uh, the overall record as we're inside 26 seconds to play here in this contest. The uh, Dragon Faithful are like, what happened? But the system is taking place. The guys are working hard, and it's starting to click. The guys are uh, are on the same page, and you can see they have some talent here and some speed. As the PA announcer counts it down here, the Dragons will take the win. 3-0 over the visiting Maples from Birmingham. All three tallies were registered in the first half of play, two by Justin Anderson and one own goal by the Maples. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. I want to thank you for tuning in to this uh, contest. And we encourage you to seek out more programming on Orion Neighborhood Television at www.orionontv.org. And we hope to see you uh, tuning again again. Be sure to check out other programs and sporting events on our channel at Comcast Channel 10, at t Channel 99. Good night, everybody, from Dragon Stadium.